don't know who I am. And I'm okay with that. As a Gen Zer, people sometimes label me or even tell me who I am or who I should be. Well, I want to tell you, it's okay if you don't know who you are. Gen Zers are in a phase of self-discovery and we don't have ourselves figured out. I certainly don't. Last year, I thought I was an extrovert. I was loud, outgoing, social, and a little bit obnoxious. I was a leader in my friend group and always in conversation. This year, though, I've been having a hard time coming to terms with my shifting personality. The labels extrovert and introvert have become overused, but I noticed I had become quieter and more afraid to talk to new people. I started to put a huge pressure on myself to perform as the extrovert I still hoped I was. It became exhausting to feel like I had to turn on and be upbeat and enthusiastic. And sometimes, after school or social events, I would literally collapse. I realized that I shouldn't have to put on a performance to be me, and that it was okay not to always have something funny or exciting to say. Gen Zers are at the beginning of their journey to find themselves, and we're not always going to have ourselves figured out, and we have to be okay with that. So who are Gen Zers? I guess you could say that we're the up-and-coming internet-addicted generation. <clears throat> Did you know that there are 74 million Gen Zers in the U.S. alone? And what's crazy is that we range in age from 4 to 24. So yeah, if we don't have our lives figured out yet, it's for good reason. Some of us are still drinking from a sippy cup. So you see, we're very much in progress. We're on a journey to find ourselves. On top of this, we're also trying to deal with stress and pressures from school, sports, our parents, and ourselves. This year has been really overwhelming and stressful for me. To begin with, it was my first year starting high school, and I was really excited, but mostly scared. I doubted my ability to make new friends and started to doubt my worth if I didn't have the most positive interactions with people at school. On top of just trying to survive and fit in at high school, I was also working on piano. I had signed up for the Monster Concert, which is a concert where a dozen pianos play together like an orchestra. For a concert like this, it was important that I practice the heck out of my songs because if I made one small mistake, I would throw the whole group out of sync. But of course, being a procrastinator, I waited until the last minute, and the date of the concert crept up on me and sent me into panic mode. I crammed to get my songs into shape, and finally I felt like I had them under control. But then my dad pushed me to start my own podcast on Amazon Alexa, which was a really exciting project. But recording was a really hard part for me. I would record episodes for the podcast over and over and over again because I was so judgmental and hypercritical of myself. I couldn't even bear to listen to the sound of my own voice. And I thought I sounded like an idiot. So I would end up in our recording room, crying for hours next to the microphone. On top of all of these things, I was also trying to finish the heaps of homework that we get every day at school and stay afloat and get good grades and taking all my honors classes. I found myself pulling all-nighters just to finish homework, and I had to ask myself, was it really worth it? As I became busier and busier, I began to isolate myself, and I told myself that I didn't have time for fun or to and, or to talk to friends. I pushed people away, but I started to feel lonely. And I wondered if my friends were even still there for me. 
At a certain point, I had to take a step back, and I realized that I couldn't do everything that I had shoved onto my plate. Gen Zers can be overly ambitious and try to do everything at once. I had to rearrange my goals and put things that were of higher priority, like my well-being and my own happiness first. And I also had to let go of certain things, and I told myself it was okay. The week leading up to today's TED Talk, I dropped track because I made the decision that I needed more time to prepare for my speech. Sometimes we can't fit everything into our lives, and it's better to do a couple things and do them really well, instead of trying to overwhelm ourselves by trying to do too much. All these experiences that have made me so stressed this year have led me to some really big questions I have to ask myself, which are, what is my true motivation? And how do I know if I'm going in the right directions? Or if I'm just wasting my time and my energy? After ruminating, I've come up with four simple steps that will hopefully help Gen Zers like me, who are struggling to find their motivation, while also trying to find themselves. So here they are. Step one, identify your current motivation. Think about where you are in life right now, whether it's school, sports, or activities. Ask yourself why you're doing it, and for who. Maybe it's for your parents, popularity, or to get into a good college. Ask yourself if this is really your passion. Maybe you don't know what your passion is, and that's where step two comes in. Step two, explore. When trying to find your passion, it's important that we keep an open mind and try things that might be outside of our comfort zone. Oftentimes, my parents will push me to do certain activities that I really dread and sometimes even hate. But by the end of it, I find that I really enjoyed it. Step three, take a self-inventory. When looking for possible future directions, it's important that we analyze ourselves honestly. It can be hard to admit to ourselves that maybe what we're trying out, we really enjoy it, but maybe we're not the best at it. But sometimes it's necessary that we look truth in the eye. Step four, know that finding yourself and finding your motivation is a continuous process. And reevaluate when you feel lost. If you feel like you've lost your motivation, don't continue mindlessly stuck in a cycle. Take a step back and reevaluate who you are right now and where you want to go. And take it from there. Life is a long process, and we're still at the beginning of it. We won't always have ourselves figured out, and we won't always know what we want to do or where we want to go. And that's okay. Accept yourself for where you are right now, and trust that finding yourself and finding your path is a lifelong journey. So get out there and find your voice. Thank you.